Hey everyone, welcome in, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna train Laura. I released a video a couple weeks ago on how to create a super fast data set with Quen. Um, you know, under five minutes you can create an entire data set. Awesome for, you know, just doing some uh, kind of like storyboarding of characters. You can, you know, put a description in there, generate 12 images real fast and see if you like them. If you don't, you know, you can quickly iterate on them and, and create new versions for new data sets and create data sets super fast. Things like this used to take me a few hours to do a data set and then it would take me a few hours to do training. Now I can do a data set in 10 minutes and I can do and I can train the lore in an hour. So pretty awesome how fast this stuff's getting faster and better. All right, so first thing you're gonna wanna do is install AI Toolkit. Well, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is create a data set if you haven't done that. If you haven't, go watch my Quen Nunchaku video on creating a data set in under five minutes. Super awesome workflow that works really well and can create your your data set super fast. So I've created this one. Um, I'm just calling the character Courtney arbitrarily. This is what the character looks like. And I have captions to support the training. So download this install AA toolkit bat if you are ready to train your Laura and put it in a location where you want to do the training. So I'm gonna copy it and put it into a training for YouTube folder. I'm gonna paste it in there and then just double click the file. All right, so it installs open or Node.js and then it also installs um, Python 3.12 if you don't already have it installed. And it'll upgrade Node.js if you have an old version. Same with Python 3.12. And if you if you already have these and you don't want them to auto install for you, just open up the .bat file, hit edit, and then you can just delete these two first um, first nodes. So you can see it just cloned AI Toolkit in. Now it's creating a virtual environment for us and installing Torch. And just a note, this so I'm going to be training on on Quen image. It does have higher VRAM requirements. Um, you should be able to train Flux as well on this, but even for Flux, it requires 24 gigabytes of VRAM. I would recommend um, running this on RunPod if you have those issues. Osiris provides a RunPod template that you can use. That is like pretty much the exact same interface, and it's you just click the template here, and it's pretty pretty trivial on how to run it. So it's a great option if you need more compute, and you probably only need it for maybe an hour and a half. I think a forty ninety is like thirty cents an hour, so probably be you know two or three dollars to do the training for this. It does take a little while to install, so don't get discouraged if you know it's taken five, 10 minutes to install. All right, and then, so that it will run it for you when it's done installing, but I also included a run AI toolkit and update AI toolkit file. Just put those into the AI toolkit folder, and then you can use those to start AI toolkit. So you just drag it in here, drag it in there, and then you can just double click it and it'll run. All right. so. I have it up and running here. So you're just gonna have to, you just wanna click on either the local or the network link. I'm gonna go to the local host. And here is your dashboard. So make sure if you had Comfy up that you clear all the cache. You don't wanna have any models stuck in, in, um, in cache. And then also if you have any video editors up, also close those, cause those also eat VRAM. Okay, and then we are going to go to our data sets. So click on new data set and then type whatever the name of your character is. So I'm gonna do Courtney. And then you can either use my data set or you can you know, use your own that you created. So here is my data set and I'm just going to copy everything, including the captions and drag it right in here. All right, and then it'll, it'll marry all the captions up with your character and we should be good to go. All right, so we wanna create a new job and I'm going to call the training name Courtney. I'll call it Courtney one. We're going to go with Quen image as our model architecture. Um, definitely select low VRAM unless you're training on like an H100 or something like that. And then you're going to want to go, go to your AI toolkit, go to config examples, and then Quen image 24 GB. So this configuration allows you to train on 
24 GB with coin image. So you're gonna to wanna to copy it, go to show advanced, and then paste it over this. All right, so we're not gonna use the show simple because it's an advanced job. So we have to actually rename this again. So I'm just gonna call it Courtney one. Uh, the name of my Laura is gonna be Courtney. Leave the type. You can leave the training folder. This is just where it's gonna output the Laura's. The linear and the linear alpha have to match. So I usually do 32 rank Laura's. Um, you can do 64 as well. Okay, the resolution you can keep the same. And then we need to set the path to images folder. So we uploaded them to AI toolkit. So they'll be in here, my Courtney folder. So I'm just gonna copy that path, paste it right in over the folder path. And the rest of this should be the same. Um, the only thing I would recommend for Quen is don't do 25 or don't do this many samples. I would recommend like two max just because it takes a while to do inference so if you have you know six and it takes two minutes at a time to do inference it's going to be 12 minutes just to inference it's going to inference you know i don't know probably eight, eight or so times throughout the generation and then you just you know added an hour and 20 minutes onto your generation time so i'm going to do a woman with brown hair, wearing a fashionable outfit, walking on a city street. And then I'll leave the second one, a woman holding a cup of coffee and a beanie. If you want to do 1338 by 1338, which is technically the Quen resolution, you can do that. But 1024 by 1024 is going to give us a good enough idea. At 768 by 768, you would probably get bad results. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't go for that. All right, and then the last thing I would do is I typically save six steps, not four like it defaults to. And then I typically train, bump the steps up to 3000. Um, sometimes I'll get good enough results by 2000 and I'll kill the training, but I recommend doing 3000 and keeping an eye on the training. All right, and then your, your metadata is just what you want to save in the folder. So if you want to put your name on it or whatever, um, you can do that. All right. Oh, and one more thing here for the folder path, just make sure you m match the slash um, notation so it's double slashes like we have in our training folder. All right, we made one mistake. So I want to say um, the I, I shouldn't have changed the job title. This should have stayed extension. So just update that and run it again. And this will auto download the models for you from Hugging Face if you don't already have them installed. All right, so seeing this found 15 images is really positive. So it takes a while to download the models. Don't be discouraged. I, I think it took maybe 15 minutes to download the models. And now it's generating my samples once it did all the caching. The caching helps so that it doesn't have to constantly have the text encoder on VRAM, which helps free up memory for the fusion models, especially with Quen because the text encoder is pretty large. All right, so I generated our baseline samples. This is these are the samples before it's done any training. So as we as the training goes along, we should see improvement in these samples. So it looks like the training is going to take roughly three hours. After about two hours, I'll come back and we'll check on it and see if we need to go another thousand steps or if we can stop the training at 2000 steps. And yeah, so this is Quen image training on 24 gigabytes of VRAM. So if you have 4090, 3090, this should work fine. If not, use the run pod templates. And just to just as one more reminder, so some of you might ask, trigger word like what, what's our trigger word are we using a trigger word we're not using a trigger word in most of these newer models trigger words are completely unnecessary you just want to prompt how you captioned your laura so like we're typically going to say you know a young a young woman blah 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 you know um, and we might even say the image shows a young woman and that'll be kind of a phrase that triggers the model to pick up our Laura. We'll be back in about two hours to check on the training and we'll do some testing. All right, so we have 2000 steps done. 
I'm not getting a whole lot of change in the last few steps, so I think I'm going to stop the training. It's looking quite a bit like my character, but a bit older, and that is because I put a woman instead of a young woman in my sample prompt. So let's pause this. You can always resume the training later if you're not happy with how the results are when we do the generations. So then to get your Laura files, you can go into your AI toolkit folder and go to output. And then Courtney is our character. So let's copy that Laura and go to your Comf UI folder, go to models and paste it into your Laura's folder. And then we can go and try out a Quen workflow. So you can grab the workflow from my Patreon, drag it in, and then we have the Lightning Laura on for testing. And then I just want to look up, then I look up Courtney. And to test this, I, I don't use trigger words. And in fact, AI Toolkit doesn't embed trigger word um, with this training setup. So you just want to prompt it with natural language. So the captions uh, for mine were something like the the young woman with brown hair is sitting okay so there is our comparison it looks quite a bit like her we do get a little bit of that flux chin which is it's every ai model even when you don't even don't introduce flux at all it just really wants to put that on there there's ways to reduce that um, there's Laura's out there and things like that um, let's try another one where she's not smiling so we get better likeness there and the other thing to note is that I am using the lightning Laura so the quality isn't going to be amazing if we take the lightning Laura out we'll get some better quality so just to talk a little bit more about the AI toolkit training we're essentially kind of guessing and using the samples to evaluate our Laura this isn't like the most reliable way it's you know, kind of like guess and check. There are better ways with something like Diffusion Pipe, and I'll release a video in the future with um, how to use evaluation data sets on Windows in Diffusion Pipe. That's a more reliable way to check to make sure you're getting the most optimal Laura that's going to give you the most um, likeness to your character. I think that the Laura is a little bit undertrained for me right now. I think if I had let it run for another 250 or th or you know 500 steps i'd get a little bit better quality let's for the sake of it try one more okay, that one's tough to tell what's going on let's try a different one with a different sampler all right so there you go pretty good likeness uh, especially it's an artificial data set and I, I i think the results came out pretty good now ideally you would bump up the realism on these to uh, oh, like a wand 2.1 text to image or image to image pass and bump up the realism. And then you train another Laura on the more realistic images and more complex poses than um, Quen image edit can give you. All right, so that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you train any cool Laura's, make sure you share them in the discord. Always love to see what you guys are working on. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications about new AI models and workflows coming out. Follow my socials. Appreciate you watching this video and I'll talk to you again in the next one.